Welcome back, DJ Vic Vapor with you, continuing through our editing tools and our editing portion of Logic Pro 10 Beginner's Course. We've covered the zoom in, zoom out features in previous lessons. And let's take a look at the smart uh, snaps, the drag, and the waveform zoom, starting here. So if I click here, I can actually zoom in on the waveform. Now this isn't changing the actual audio is in a sense it isn't getting louder or softer it's just allowing me as an editing uh, feature to zoom in and see things a little closer let's say you have like something similar to what we have here which is a very quiet audio audio source it was just my voice recorded in by holding down this and hovering there and dragging up and down we can zoom in there or if we just click it once it gives us a little quick zoom and click it again it goes back to its normal state so that's the audio waveform button and then we've got the uh, drag mode and we've got smart smart mode so let's look at this let me first uh, take my marquee tool and create by double clicking I just created two sections so we've got you know two sections of the file here so right now if I drag this and drop it over the other one no overlap is set so it's just it's trimming away information from that first one when I pull it back you see it's gone if I do it again it just trimmed it away again pull it back it's gone so that's with no overlap let's see what we've got here we've got a few options to work with if we choose overlap and let's say we take this one and drop it over top of this now it's just simply laying over top. You can see the other one in the background behind here. And if I move this back away, it didn't edit anything out. It just laid it on top. It overlapped, just as the uh, button indicates. If we choose crossfade and we merge these two together, it's going to create a nice little crossfade for us right here. So that's our drag features. I'm not really going to get into right and left shuffles. It's a little bit more advanced than our beginner's course. So let's move over here and check. Actually, let me do a little Command-Z action. Get our original source file back in a good state. So on the uh, Snap 2 and Smart, we have got we can snap to bar, beat, division, ticks, frames, quarter frames, samples snap regions to absolute value, snap regions to relative value, uh, and things of that nature. So what that's basically saying here is I'm going to hold down Command and I'm going to zoom out so we can get a little bit better look up here. What we've got now is an audio source that starts on the one and we've got you know our different divisions within the beat all the way up to the second bar what we can do is if we have snap to grid smart snap to regions relative value if I move this file you can see it wants to snap to the relative location of where it started from now I can go snap to our regions to absolute value and it's going to always do the same it's going to snap right in place for us there and the advantage of this is if we've got this separated or if I've highlighted a piece I want right here it's always going to snap to that relative value or to that exact value. Whenever I'm moving it around, it's going to be controlled and, and snap uh, to the absolute value. Or we can say snap to bar, and then it'll only snap to the next available bar. Whenever I move a piece around, it's just going to want to snap. See, it doesn't want to, it wants to ignore all the in information in between. It wants to go right to the bar. And we can do the same with beat, divisions, ticks, frames. So not really an editing tool, but it does kind of influence the way you use editing tools. 
if you're able to manipulate the audio in such a fashion. So let's move on to the next lesson.